Are you trying to tell me something, Mr. Dudge? <laughs> yes, Ernie. There are a lot of papers to sign and a trial period to be gotten through. But as of this moment, I believe we can safely say your name is Ernest Stanley Douglas. Huh? What Judge Leland means, Ernie, is that from now on, Uncle Charlie will really be your Uncle Charlie. <laughs> and uh, I'll be your father from now on, Ernie. You know, again, it was one of those things that I was on the set, you know, just uh, as uh, parents with, you know, without having daycare to watch their kids, I sometimes just, that would be where I'd go, you know, my mom had something else to do and I'd wind up just hanging out on the set because there was, you know, nowhere else to go. And so, uh, so the producers, you know, were aware of me at that time and I was doing some other films. I did a film with uh, Debbie Reynolds and Cliff Robertson called My Six Loves, and a uh, film with Jackie Gleason called Papa's Delicate Condition, and Aaron Boy with Jerry Lewis. Uh, so I was, you know, working real regularly, and they were aware of that, and, and so I think they liked my persona, you know. I mean, I was kind of just not, I wasn't the, 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 the good-looking, blonde-haired, Ricky Schroeder, Stan Livingston type, you know, I wasn't that blonde-haired, Aryan, beautiful boy. I was sort of buck tooth and, and, you know, Chinese bowl cut and, you know, and kind of a weird little guy. So they, and the glasses. So I think, you know, they, they liked the, the eccentricity that I had. And then they started writing um, me in as a recurring character uh, next door. And I didn't know at that point whether I was going to be on the show as a, as a son or not. You know, it was not, not a ever broached to us that, that I would, you know, in a year be made the adopted son. <clears throat> but Did they have it in the back of their mind? I think they knew. I think that they knew Tim Considine, who was Mike, the oldest son, was going to be leaving. And so uh, I don't know if they were laying the groundwork, just kind of introducing me to the show, whatever. But I did, you know, I was the friend next door for about, uh, you know, a year. And then that following year, Tim left. And then I was, you know, like waiting in the bullpen, you know, waiting, waiting for the call. And so, uh, yeah, they had about six episodes where I was introduced, because you didn't, nobody knew my backstory. I was the kid next door, but suddenly it was like, oh, oh, he, Ernie, he's adopted. He was, you know, he was a foster child, and his real parents are leaving, and they can't take him out of the country, and what do we, you know. So the Douglases then uh, went ahead and, you know, went through the, the, the adoption process, you know, took about six episodes. And, and the tone of the show actually changed, you know, it actually became quite sentimental and a little more dramatic and and uh, but if you miss those shows you'd go well, who's this kid how do he get on the show what, what, what's why is he here you know I mean he was a friend now he's living in Chip's room you know and so but they never mentioned it after that and, and they never made never made <laughs> it's never made any mention of whatever happened to the oldest son Tim you know Mike his character you know you would think here's this this wonderful all-american family and once he was gone once he was out of the show you know, you, you never there was never a, a word about, oh, I wonder what Mike is doing, or will we ever hear from Mike again? Mm -hmm.